how big of a docking station do you really need for your laptop? Let's take a look. Hey guys, I'm Scott with Before You Buy, where we do product reviews to make sure it's what you want before you buy it. And today we are looking at a couple of docking stations from OKX. Uh, to be fair, they did send these docking stations to me, but I'm going to just basically talk about how big of a docking station do you really need? A uh, little background for me, I actually have 14 plus years of experience in IT. Um, I absolutely love tech and gadgets and uh, stuff like this. So uh, I was super excited when they reached out and said, hey, can we send you a couple docking stations? Uh, I've, I've used both of these docking stations now for a few weeks, tried them out in my own personal setup, carried them around my backpack. So which ones do I recommend? Well, look, first off, how about we jump over? Let's take a look. So the smaller one is obviously one that you could either keep on your desk, hooked up to your laptop, or even, um, you know, have enough ports that you can, you know, bring it with you. So if you ever need anything, you know, you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Laptops these days don't have a lot of ports on them. So when you can just have something like this thrown in your bag, you don't have 15 different dongles, you know you're going to have pretty much everything here. Now, OKX does actually have even more than just two. They have all kinds of docking stations, but uh, I just wanted to kind of show you these two. Uh, but this one, I, I absolutely love this one. I'll leave it linked down below, but it has not only just tons of USB ports, including mostly USB 3, you got the card reader. And I personally prefer this. Uh, it has the network card on there and VGA. That's kind of an old monitor if you don't know what that is. But uh, the network port, sometimes that's big. If you're editing videos, you're transferring files that are large across the network, um, sometimes that is handy. Or if you're an IT like me, uh, if your laptop is newer and it can handle the you know, display port 1.4, you'll want to make sure it's that. Uh, and I, I know for MacBooks, for instance, it would have to be like a 2018 15 inch or newer. Okay. Um, I believe those ones are all display point 1.4 and above, but one thing you'll good catch. You just have to make sure that it's the right kind. Otherwise you can only use one monitor, which would not be fun because most of you might want to hook up multiple if you got a docking station like this. So jumping back over has another USB port and it has a USB-C port as well. One's for power, one's for USB-C pass-through. So gotta love that. Um, again, there's your multiple monitors. If you have a Windows machine, um, it could be a little bit older and still probably work with all the different monitors and all the different displays. So that is fantastic. This is the more portable option, but we also have this massive heat sink one. It's not massive, but um, this one is one you would more set on your desk. So for instance, let's say this is your monitor. You might have this sitting there or even outside. Look at that tucked right under that monitor there. You'd never even notice it hardly. One thing I love about it is you get access to a headphone jack right in the front. That's fantastic. A USB-C port right in the front, other USB ports and your card readers. Okay. All right in the front quick, easy access. That's great. Um, <clears throat> on the back, I'm going to jump over here so you can see it a little better. You got the couple HDMIs, the VGA. Again, very similar ports actually as this one, right? They're just kind of in a different configuration. So why is this one so much bigger? This one actually also will pass your power. So you don't have to have, you know, if you keep this on your desk, you don't actually have to have a second power brick or take the power brick out of your backpack to plug it in. Uh, this one comes with its own power adapter that you can plug right in, you can use it, plug your laptop, that, that same USB-C cable that goes into your laptop that will get powered and charge your battery as well. So it's basically coming with an extra charger, which is fantastic. So coming back here, looking at the back, um, you know, network cable, USB-C, that's what's gonna go to your laptop couple USB ports. One thing I do wish is that the back had a few more USB ports. Um, you know, if you're going to use keyboard and mouse, those are your two ports. Maybe you want a backup drive and a few other things. My personal setup, I actually use, you know, three or four of them. In fact, one of my lights, my little key light up here is actually powered over USB. So I have that plugged into the back. It would be annoying if I always had to have 
a cable hanging out the front because if you want a nice clean looking setup you're going to want some more USB ports. Now again, that's my personal setup, but something I wanted to point out for sure. Real quick, if this video is helping you and one of these products seems like the right one for you, please consider using the links down below. It does give me a little kickback, buys me that cup of coffee. It's uh, currently after 1 a.m. and uh, that cup of coffee keeps me going, it keeps me going late at night. After my gym is closed, my kids are in bed, this is when I record videos to just provide honest opinions, um, honest input on what products you should get. Uh, so I hope that helps. Also, I did make a video on um, all different types of docking stations and comparing them. So you may want to check that out. I'm going to leave that link down below as well. So why wouldn't you always go with this big one if it has more options and you know you get the power brick well it's because it costs more so this one's a hunt comes in right around 120 dollars right now on amazon but one thing to keep in mind is you do get that extra power brick right so you don't have to buy another charger to carry around because i'll tell you it's so much more convenient when you can sit down plug in that one usb-c cable to your laptop boom your whole setup comes up right and that's kind of what i always show is when i'm making videos or my video on that exact topic you plug in that one cable, boom, your whole setup's up and running. If the more time you can save daily by just doing that, it really helps. Uh, this one comes in around $60. It has all kinds of options. Now, again, OKX even makes smaller ones. So maybe you don't care about the card reader or network ports or anything like that. Maybe you don't need, you know, this one has four, five USB ports. You know, maybe you don't need that many. Um, also, one thing I do want to point out is this one has the audio jack. A lot of them do not have that, so that's kind of a convenient feature as well. But either way, I hope this just helped you kind of sort through, thinking through which docking station would be best for you. If you have any questions on tech or docking stations or would it work for this or that setup, I love tech. So uh, leave them down in the comments down below. I'm happy to help it answer any question I can. So until next time, thanks for sticking around. See ya.